Welcome back to another uh, creek fishing mission. We are on one of my favorite creeks in Arkansas. It's called Crooked Creek. Why? Because the smallmouth fishing is amazing on this body of water. Uh, two o'clock in the afternoon, it's, uh, you know, it's not a good topwater bite, so I've been just working a tube in the shady pockets and around big boulders and finding a few here and there. So uh, stay tuned. Let's get that line back in the water. Good one. Feels like a better one. Maybe I just got him hooked weird. He's a little bigger. He's a fighter now. He's a little bigger. All right, y'all want to see what they're eating? Look down the throat of that fish. Y'all see that crawfish down in there? I mean, <laughs> he's hanging on for dear life. He is trying to get out of that situation. <laughs> He's like, help. He's probably dead technically, but the crawfish, I don't want to take this smallmouth food, but the crawfish is red in color. So I might need to tie on some uh, red looking crawfish imitations. It might be a little bit more prone to biting. It's good information to know. He's biting me hard. Thanks, buddy. fish on man he hasn't showed his face yet this might be the biggest one yet or just the toughest fighting one yep he's a nice one oh no <laughs> crap <laughs> does that count does that count I mean I had him I was flipping him to my hand and about to touch him and he jumped off but uh he came there's a big boulder right there in that little shady pocket tossed right on the other side of that boulder and that's where he smoked it god that was a good one fish huh Goodness. i knew there was some over there a little small man they're over there, man. This one came from the that back pool over there. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down. Oh, hell, yeah, geez. Come on, man. That's your own fault. He, he gone. Fish. Fish on. Come down here, I found more. They're getting bigger. <laughs> hey, a fish is a fish, babe. Pull them off and get back out there. Come down here. And I, there's probably two or three right here in this hole. Behind this big boulder. Oh, man, it looks so juicy. I've been biting at the bit. I'm saving it for you. I know there's a good one in there. Nice. Here, train me baits. Throw this one a couple times up there. Throw it right in the middle of that swift water. And just... uh keep your line tight um, and just kind of let it bounce through there and then once it stops set that hook it means a fish stopped it or a big boulder hit it one or the other nice now keep your line tight go ahead and close your bell and if you feel a tug on it when you pull set that hook nice just let it drift right there pull it pull it real hard pull it is that a fish? He hung up. Oh, 
I thought you had it. Wait, is that a fish? Keep reeling. Or are you stuck? It's not moving. Oh, I see something flashing there. No? Keep reeling. You got a fish on? Oh, yeah. Nice. That's a good one, man. Nice. I thought you had, the way your tip was going down, I was like, that's a fish. Pull me in, bud. I knew there was a fish on that rock. There had to be. That was too perfect of a smallmouth place. Look at that, man. Look at that. Nice. All right, swing it to you. And you hooked them at the top of the lip. That's what you want to do, bud. Nice. There you go. Now you get to take it off. <laughs> nice smallmouth, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> nice. He's good, man. He's good. He's swimming right there. I like it. He's just chilling. He's looking for his next meal. I'm surprised they're still over here. Nothing big. Another fish, little baby smallmouth. Fish on, fish on, little baby. <laughs> wow, well, gotta get through this uh, belly button deep water here. Kind of, anytime you see me do the flamingo dance, it's me trying to shake a rock out of my crock. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I ate it. Ugh. That's just dandy. Camera's getting off fog, bit. Okay, that's what I get from trying to cast and walk at the same time. I'm just trying to cover some ground and walk fast. Boy, I don't want to eat it again, though. This was a healthy fish, and he's a big one. You see the rock line? Mm -hmm. I think that's it. So you need to parallel that area. Fish. Slow. So cast in front of you. They're in the middle too. They're not just. Oh, he's off. They're just not on that side. What the? What was that? Fish! Ah. Found some. 
Get up here, bud. That's a good one. <laughs> it's another healthy smallmouth bass right there. Right there where those grass reeds are, tossing those uh, shoals, and they're in those shoals uh, feeding again. Kind of like down there, we're in that fast current. Mm -hmm. Boy, they're feeding in that fast current right there. It's a healthy one. Yeah, he's ready. I don't see no tags on him. I was hoping to get a tag fish so we can get on some money. Pretty fish. All right, he's ready. He gone. As soon as I heard that splash, I got on the other side of that grass and cast up there to see if it was a smallmouth. And I don't know if that was the same one or not, but that was a good fish. There's another one. They're in here, man. Yep. Well, I might have to give you the two back, bud. Oh, there's a bigger one with it. Get up here, man. I just saw a bigger one swim with this one. Stop it. Stop it. Toss this tube up ahead of you and let it drift down. There's not too much chunk rock too, so you'll be able to tell if it stops. Mm -hmm. You definitely got a fish on. I saw some flashing. Give it a full sin as far as you can in the middle. I saw some flashing right here. Is that a fish? I think so, yeah. Nice. Thought there'd be one there. Oh, good. Yes, man. It's fighting good. Keep tension on it. Don't let it get loose. Keep that tension on it. Man, it hasn't came up yet. Oh, no. Nice, man. All right. Oh, don't roll it too close to your reel. Nice. All right, kind of swing it to you. Well, he's still fighting. That's a good one, bud. Come on, man. I'm talking to the fish. Come on. Come in here, man. Quit fighting. He just wants to touch you. Good night. He so wants to touch you. That's, it. you're good. Now, kind of uh, lift your rod up. Well, once it gets close to the top of the water, go ahead and try to swing it out. Because he'll fight in that current all day long. He choked it, bud. That's a good one, man. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a good my one. best. Nice. Kind of hold him like up and down like he'd be swimming in the water. Whew. We just made it home. My uh, shorts have finally dried off a bit. It was about a two hour drive and we made it. Uh, so I apologize, I'm in the garage again, closed down a video just because it got dark outside and it's too dark out there to do anything. The friend I took is from church and he doesn't fish very often. So I was trying to put him on some smallmouth bass and <laughs> he caught quite a few of them. He caught 13 actually, all together. Now the bait I put him on, uh, it's a new bait I just bought. It's the Strike King Bitsy Crankbait. And it's a silver back and a white body. It got him on a lot of fish. Now, I tried to teach him the tube, you know, try to teach him how to work the tube and the current and stuff. And he caught several on that too, but uh, you can't go wrong with just casting and uh, reeling it back to you every time. It makes it so much easier. Well, as always, thank you for watching, and I hope to catch you on the next adventure. <laughs>